Hello everyone, Daniels here. Welcome to tutorial number two. In this tutorial is just for Windows users. <laughs> if you own a Mac, you're lucky enough, you don't have to, you can skip this tutorial. You don't have to follow the steps in this tutorial as they are just for Windows users. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go to our start and then right click on computer. It's a little bit different in, in Windows 8, but it's similar enough. And then right click, click on properties. You get to this screen. This screen is almost the same in Windows 8 as it is in Windows 7. Then we need to get to advanced system settings. This is exactly the same in Windows 8 as in Windows 7. Then in advanced, so your name, hardware, advanced tab, we have to go to environment variables. And here, after we install Java, we have to let the computer know where Java JDK, Java Development Kit that we installed, where it is located. So here's what we do. Let's first find it on our hard drive. Let's go to computer, C, excuse all those folders, uh, program files. Java is just like any other application, it's just installed in program files. And there we go, this is my program files, then Java. Then you can have several versions of Java, and you want to look for the JDK of the type you installed, 1.7, and then update 71. Okay. I'm going, this is the path. So I'm going to, one way to get this path, well, I could click here and then copy this path. There we go. And now I'm going to go to um, back <laughs> to my environment variables. And here user variables for user Daniel. Of course, you're going to have your own username. I'm going to create new. And here I'm going to put Java underscore home. And in the variable value, I'm just going to paste the directory path of the Java development kit. There we go. That's all we need to do. And now that we've done this, I'm going to click OK. Another small thing that we can do is here there is a path variable. It's already you're probably going to already have it with some other things. Good. So what we would like to do is we can do that in the beginning of the path. We can paste the same folder path. So we can, let's make some spaces. So we can paste C, program files, Java, JDK. But here, after pasting this, we also need to add slash bin. Bin stands for binary. This is the path to the binary folder with all the with all the Java binary executable files. Okay. And then between the, this value and the and the next value, we have to put a semicolon. That's it. All right. And now that we have it, I think I have extra space. Okay, there we go. I removed the extra space. Then all we need to do is to save and then okay and okay. If you have a command command prompt already open, exit your command prompt, exit it completely and start it again. Now, no matter what folder you're in, you should be able to do Java space hyphen, hyphen version and you should be able to get the Java version that you installed. As we pointed the system to the home, to the home directory of Java, you can call the Java command from any directory on your computer. So for example, I'm going to change the directory to just, let's say I'm going to just go to C, the root of the hard drive. I can still call on Java. I can call it from any directory because we thought Windows, what is the path to the home of the JDK, to the home directory of the Java development kit. All right, so having done that, uh, this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much. 
And again, if you're a Mac user, you didn't have to do any of this. In Mac, it's done automatically by the installer. All right, thank you very much. And we'll continue in the next tutorial.